The last meeting we had some concerns about on the Churchill's Park concerning some lights that were out and some other hanging trees. Uh, the borough employees were able to take care of that property for a cost of four thousand uh, dollars. We've had some vandalism down at Chartier's Park. Evidently, somebody's trying to set the swings on fire, and uh, I think it was up at the Cook School that they lit up the tunnel, like the Cook School, the Cook School they Park. They tried to burn down the tunnel. So that's going to be four thousand dollars to replace those items. Next year we have a just possibly three thousand dollars in fixing up the playground equipment at all the parks. This is really in the budget for next year. But people, uh, you have to take care of our our property for the taxpayers and whatnot. This playground equipment's been in there since. My wife was on council, she was part of that stuff all together. It's getting old, but it's still very serviceable. I think it still looks pretty good. I'm trying to keep things up. But people are going to try uh, destroying the property. It's ridiculous. I remember when I was on council the last time, there was some discussion about putting cameras around the borough, different places doing vandalism. For some reason, that's thought sort of went away. I remember we went to Seven Springs the one year and the uh, district attorneys of Powell said they do have like uh, grants or whatnot, but they will put where well, they were doing it in uh, 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 Clark, they put them up because they had gang problems or whatnot and gang problems disappeared. Chartier's Park is like, very, it's very isolated. There's no ball game down there. There's usually nobody down there, so it's it's tough. But cameras might help solve this problem because this has been going on for years. They uh, painted up the new men's room up there at Cook School. I mean, I mean, it's just a, it's a shame. You know? We want to do things for our kids. I mean, my kids grew up in this town, and we built these parks for these kids and whatnot. And it's just it's silly. I don't know if the things are getting worse these days or what. I mean, kids were bad back in the day, but uh, it just seems to be been progressively worse. So uh, we got to look into maybe Jack gets back or public safety committee or whatever. Maybe looking into putting some cameras around. I know the police are strapped as far as patrolling. We're down there, but hopefully we can do something. I mean, it doesn't happen every day, but when it happens, it's a shame. So maybe if we catch a few of these people, we can. Do something about it, and uh, that's all I have for parks. Can I make a little note there? The Land Water Conservation Fund provided funding for Cook School Park and McLaughlin Park, and they do a site visit every five years. So they require um, that we maintain and keep up these parks. And if we, if they see something that is um, out of compliance, we get a letter and we have to bring it into compliance. In fact, um, at, at Cook School, we had already ordered a part. There was plywood down on the uh, on the base, and we had already ordered a base for that. And uh, there were some spindles that were missing, and we had already ordered those. And we got a letter stating your spindles are missing and your base is uh, you know is cracked. And that piece itself, those two pieces were seventeen hundred dollars. And now we have to refabricate them because they don't fit the current the, the, the current uh, equipment there. But they do do inspections every five years. Um, they were at the Blockham Park too. We had a broken um, bouncy seat, so we took that out. But um, we have to keep them up because we're we're you know obtaining more money from the LWCF from McLaughlin. So um, you know they 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 keep an eye on their money and, and how they're using it and if you're keeping it up and everything's accessible. So.